Fragile X syndrome, or FXS, is the most common form of inherited mental retardation. A 2001 census found that 1 in 1,000 men are affected by permutation, while 1 in 3,500 to 8,900 men are affected by the full mutation. In women, 1 in 250 to 500 are affected by permutation, and 1 in 4,000 are fully affected by the mutation. The FMR1 gene is a gene affected in Fragile X. This gene is supposed to produce FMRP, but in the case of FXS, the gene is turned off. Fragile X is a trinucleotide repeat disorder. The nucleotides affected are the CGG repeats on the X chromosome. CGG is repeated about 30 times in normal people, but people who have 60 to 200 repeats have the permutation of the disease, and people with more than 200 repeats have the full mutation. FMRP is made in many places in the body, such as the testicles, brain, liver, lungs, kidney, spinal cord, and gastrointestinal tract. All of the above can cause problems in people with FXS. Scientists don't really know what FMRP does exactly. It may play a role in the regulation of protein synthesis. It may also help the body maintain its connective tissues. When connective tissues are not maintained, it can cause higher risk of dislocated joints developing hernias, ear infection, flat-footedness, and about 50% of adults with FXS have a heart murmur but is usually not life-threatening. Some evidence suggests that FMRP is involved in forming pathways in the brain. It could also cause people to have too many connections that don't work well. This may explain FXS symptoms like extreme sensitivity to new sights, sounds, smells, and touches. Methylation is the ability for a woman's genes to turn one chromosome off in a cell so they only have one working X chromosome with all the DNA needed for each cell. Near the FMR1 gene is a site called the CPG island, and in most people the site is not methylated so then the cell can use the FMRP protein. In FXS, the CPG is methylated. This means the cell isn't able to copy the information on the FMR1 gene, which means the cell is unable to produce mRNA. Protein isn't produced and the characteristics of FXS develop. Theoretically, if the methylation could be removed from the FMR1 gene, it would allow FMRP to be assembled and that would cure the disease. This disease is inherited. For a child to get FXS, one parent must be a carrier or have the disorder. A carrier father can only transmit the gene to his daughters because the mutation is on the X chromosome. Men can be a carrier and never have any symptoms of the disorder. Normally men who are carriers for FXS normally don't pass on the full mutation to his daughters. A female with a permutation will often pass on a larger version of the mutated gene to her children. Sometimes in females with a permutation, they will experience premature ovarian failure as early as their mid-20s, but it is unknown why this happens. Women with the fully mutated gene do go into menopause earlier than normal women, but not as early as the pre-mutation women. This disease has no cure. The disease itself is not fatal. It is more common in males because they only have one X chromosome. Some adults with a permutation may develop a neurological disorder called FXTAS, which is similar to Parkinson's. Symptoms of Fragile X can include moderate to severe mental retardation, large testes, large jaw, speech delays, prominent foreheads, delayed motor development, hyperactivity and behavioral problems, poor sensory skills, shyness and limited social skills, hand flapping, hand biting, have a negative response to touch, seizures. The physical features don't usually show up until puberty and females may share some of the physical features seen in males but normally in a lesser degree. Most of the time, males experience more severe symptoms of FXS than females. Most have significant intellectual disability ranging from learning disabilities to severe mental retardation and autism. Behavioral problems may include ADD or ADHD, speech disturbances, hand biting, hand flapping, and unusual responses to various touch, auditory, or visual stimuli. 80 to 90 percent of males with FXS have ADHD or ADD, and more than 80% have an IQ of 70 or lower. About one-third of women have significant intellectual disabilities. They may also have problems with anxiety and can be very shy. If a large amount of the girl's cells turn off the X chromosome with the FXS mutation, then most of the cells will have an X chromosome that can produce FMRP, meaning there are limited impacts of FXS. If a large amount of cells turn on the X chromosome with this mutation, then the body won't get enough FMRP and the FXS will be more pronounced. 
Fragile X testing would be done if a child has developmental, speech, language, or motor delay, and if the family has a history of FXS or there is a family history of mental retardation. If a female is at risk for FXS, then an amniostesis is done. A test called the Southern Blath Analysis determines if a gene has a full mutation and what the approximate size of the mutation is, if the gene has been methylated, and if the person is a mosaic. The polymer's chain reaction can tell the actual number of repeats with normal or permutated genes, but is not the choice for diagnosing full mutations. Because Fragile X is so varied, it is important to evaluate the person's abilities and difficulties to create a treatment plan specific for that one person. There are several treatments available for Fragile X. Gene therapy is an option. As for protein replacement, FMRP is already made in the lab, but it is too large of a molecule to pass into the brain. One may be able to take a pill or injection in the future for Fragile X. Speech and language therapy is essential for boys with Fragile X. Delayed speech is often the first signs of FXS. Speech therapists are normally the first person to evaluate the child. Boys have problems with mainly conversational skills. Girls have good verbal skills, but may be shy. Behavioral therapy helps Fragile X children to deal with difficulties in peer interactions because of hand flapping and lack of awareness of social cues. They use calming technique and modified environments. Clear concrete plans with appropriate cues and appealing rewards are a must for school-aged kids. Such would include sitting near their teacher, having the ability to move around between tasks, visual cues for sequences of events, and interactive lessons. Changes in scheduling are very difficult for many people with Fragile X and need careful planning by teachers and parents. No one medication is given to people for Fragile X syndrome. Over 100 may be used to treat symptoms. Medications can help for aggression, anxiety, hyperactivity, and poor attention span. There are support groups for parents who have children with Fragile X syndrome. All these groups are through the National Fragile X Foundation.